architect Alreza E. Pawa, sir, our very own public schools district supervisor, Ms. Araceli C. Tombo, our project-oriented school principal to Mr. Alfred C. Discaliar, sir, school heads, beloved teachers, treasured parents, supportive local and borrowing officials, fellow resilient graduates, friends, ladies and gentlemen, Assalamu alaikum warahmatullahi ta'ala wa barakatuhu. A momentous afternoon to each and everyone. Elementary days are part of our childhood memories that cannot easily be forgotten. Sabi nga, ito ang mga pangyayari sa buhay natin na masarap balik-balikan. These days were the beginning of my journey as a learner. Do you still remember how you first set your foot in this institution? I could not forget my mother who first sent me to my classroom. I was so full of apprehensions and fear for I was too shy then and I don't know what will happen inside the class but I was also excited at the same time when she was about to leave she gave me her sweetest smile gave me a thumbs up and bade me goodbye I just peeped at the window as she turned and back and I was left with new and old faces of course with the new face of our teacher that time in grade one, Mrs. Teresa M. Sally. With that thumbs up, I gained a handful of self-confidence. Lo, after how many days, guess what? I became the class president, and I was so to able to overcome my anxiety. I became an active learner. With the guidance of Mom Sally, I started to embark in joining the different contests, especially in academics such as oral contests and MTOP. In the second grade, I continued with my journey in joining such competitions. I made a lot of friends, and I may say, my confidence reached the top. I just did not settle in the district level, but I had the golden opportunity to compete in the cluster and even in the division level. Thank you, Ma'am Esther Leta Kiluang, who served me as my coach. Who could forget our third grade? I think nobody from us could forget it. We started the class by June 2019. We still enjoyed so many school activities and contests then. Yes, another contest again with my coaches. Mrs. Early C. Onglas and Mrs. Malin C. Sotomayor. Opo, talagang suki na po ako ng patimpala. Kung sumali lang ako sa tawang ng tanghalar, pamilyar na, pamilyar na ang aking mukha. Buti na lang hindi ako doon sumali. Kung hindi, nagong na ako. Di po kasi ako singer. Smile. But the school year was challenged because of the onset of the COVID-19 virus. We missed school when the country opted to have a total lockdown in March 2020 because of the pandemic. We're not able to receive our medals and awards for the recognition program. We missed our classmates and friends for we were not allowed to see them. We were instructed to follow strictly the health protocols. Undeniably, the educational system of the country was tested that time. Because of the inevitable happenings of the country brought by the global pandemic, we continued with our education at home through distance learning or modular for school year 2020-2021. Sa bahay, natutunan kong maging independent sa pagsagot sa mga module Kasi marami rin ginagawa ang aking mahal na ina at ama. Although, I also asked them for some things that I could barely understand. I could truly say that it was not easy to have education unless it is in a formal way where we are all inside the classroom with our classmates and with the guidance of our dear teachers and school principal. Siyempre, namimiss din namin ang school canteen. Diba? Hi, 
na miss namin ang grade 4. Kaya nga, pag may inuutusan na pumunta kay Ma'am Berdago o kay, kay Ma'am Bason, kadalasan ay nalilito kung sino si Ma'am Bason o si Ma'am Berdago. Diba, Rohani, Arshan? Puro daw po kasi letter B. Lumipas ang isang school year at nagpatuloy kami sa modular learning para sa school year 2021-2022. Mas naramdaman ko ang hirap kasi medyo tumastas na ang aming antas sa paaralan. Malungkot pala talaga ang mag-aral ng mag-isa. Hinahanap-hanap ko ang ingay ng ating mga kaklase. But with the improvement in the health status of the country, we're so grateful because we had experience to be inside the four walls of our classroom again during the last quarter of our fifth grade. The country shifted to blended learning. I was so excited and full of en enthusiasm. I even had my own planner. Yes, I really miss schooling. Thank you, our grade five teachers, Mom Malin, Mom Gloria, and Mom Eva for being patient with all of us. We know that it was not easy on your part too, for you have to make adjustments so that, so that we may be able to master the competencies that are expected from us. And to think that we left formal school as grade three learners and you might met us already in grade five. At saka, iyong biglang maingay ng mga silid-aralan pagkatapos ng ilang taon ay nakakapanibago din pala. Alhamdulillah, nagtuloy-tuloy na nga ang aming pag-aaral sa paaralan. Bumalik na sa normal ang ingay, sigawan, bangayan, takbuhan, at malulutong na halakhakan ng mga mag-aaral. At heto nga, nasa ikaanim na baitang na kami, parang kailan lang. Salamat po sa mga guru namin, Teacher Raisa, Teacher Christy, Sir Jong, at sa aming med teacher na Sir Bon sa makulay na mga araw sa grade 6. Mula sa nakakahilong pangalan ng grade 6 learners, tulad ni na Shahana, Shihana, Shana, Shihana, Sharina, Sharika, Siana. Hi, buti na lang ako ay nag-iisa. Matsner. Sino ba ang makakalimot sa mga TikToker na pinamumunaan ni na Rahaf, Shihana, Rian, Ruhani, Shana, at marami pang iba? Ang mga folk dancer ni Teacher Christy na si na Jana, Shihana, Musa, Rinalin, Nurasia, at Rohina. Ang mga singer ng grade 6 na nag-aagawan sa microphone na si na Aisha, Shahana, Rohana, at Jaja. Andiyan pa ang awayan sa mga assigned groups kung saan HB or high blood na ang mga leader kung hindi nakakusunod.